Fall in, my fellow scouts, to round two between the Virgin Chickens and the Blue Team. This is a third age reforged tournament battle replay today, the 2v2 tournament once again. And today we have the Virgin Chickens. The first player is King Armor commanding Isengard. He's got some war graders here, a couple units there, some champions of the White Hand, trolls of the White Hand. Done in Clansmen, Urukai Berserkers. We got some Urukai Infantry, Urukai Pikes, Snagger Skirmishers, Urukai Infantry, Nazga High, more infantry, two more units there total. Some Urukai Pikes once again. Some Snagger Skirmishers, I think I already commented on these Pikes before. I didn't see any Lord's Hunting Pack. I didn't see also any Urukai Crossbows. So King Armor has gone for a pretty much a rush styled army. You can run your Pikes too by the way. His ally, of course, is Finrod, but he's commanding Harad this time. He's got some Muad Beast Tamers out front. This is a Javelin Skirmisher unit, pretty much the same as the Rohan Skirmishers. They throw the Javelins on horseback. We have some Haradrim Spearmen there. I think maybe three units there in this line. This is a huge line. So two or three units tops. We have some Muad Beast Tamers again over here. We got some Southron Pikemen and some Muad Warriors. Muad Warriors are your light melee troops. I wouldn't rely on them too much. Except maybe to use as a meat shield. I think maybe we got two units of Saffron Pikes here just spread out all the way. And maybe two units of Muad Warriors as well. Behind them, Muad Berserkers and two units of Muad Berserkers. Over here, we have some Black Serpents and some Mumakil as well. And I think that's it there for the version Chickens. Let's move on to the blue team today. What are they bringing? Okay, Roma Carol here is bringing a rune once again. We have some Belkov Tribesmen out front. We've got some Eastron Clansmen there, not armored up this time. Actually, half armored up, my bad. They're wearing silver helmets there, two units. We have some Dragon's Wrath crossbows here as well. Some Belkov Tribesmen there. Loke Flag Grim, I think, three units there. And Loke Gamper behind them, again, three units. Dragon's Wrath Warlords and Kumul's Dragon Knights. Maybe some Kumul's Shadow Guard or Shadow Bows, we'll find out later. Next, we have Erebor. Just is commanded by Keller. We have some Dwarven Miners out front. We've got some Ironfoot Spears here, three units there. We've got some Airball Legionnaires, two units. Ironfoot Axe two units. Ironfoot Warriors, just the one. We've got some Ironfoot Pikes here. We've got some Axe Guard of Airball, two units. Ironfoot Crossbows, one unit. Ironfoot Wargates, two units. And some Ironfoot Hammer Guard as well, so a strong army there for Keller. Generals in that unit as well. But, let's get round two started everyone. Enjoy. All right. Now remember, this is best of three. So I think if Virgin Chickens win this one, that's it. I don't know if it's first to three. I think best of three meant out of best of three matches, player wins or team wins. So Blue Team needs to win this one to stay in the fight. Okay, it looks like Caleb put out his Ironfoot crossbows here with no protection. No spears, no pikes, no cavalry. And we got King Armor coming in as a result of that. The charge maybe won't be as bad as you think. Ironfoot pikes are running to shut him down. Mumma Kill are over here. And this is not a bad idea actually to send Mumma Kill over this way. Airboy doesn't have the ability to fire fire ammunition. To be honest, I don't think Rune has either. But Airboy is the bigger threat here to the Virgin Chickens, so they're trying to use their best assets to focus on Airboy. Okay. Harad's move hey, moving in closer and closer. Doesn't really seem ready to commit his attack just yet. Okay, we've got some Hashari Shadows here. This is Rangers on horseback. Looks like their intention is for Harad to engage the line, force Rune to bunch up, then move the Hashari Shadows into fire on the line from the side. That's definitely a good idea. But the Fenrod needs to make sure he forces the Battle Tribes in back and away from that cavalry. He's got to protect them. Okay, I think... We're Maybe Kel's telling Roma about those Ashari Shadows. Be careful of his line. We've got Isengard in the back lines of Hairball here. 
Chambers of the White Hand going after the Dragon's Wrath crossbows. Saved by the Kamal's Dragon Knights. Black Serpent's coming in. Might be intercepted by the Eiffel War Goats. Alright. Oh, King Armor's committing more cavalry. I thought maybe he's going to pull out. It did seem like his champions are being overwhelmed. 6 to 5%. We've got more beast tamers. I don't know who they're firing at. Okay. They're firing to Erebor's cavalry. I think Trolls of the White Hand intercepted the war goats there. Okay. Let's have a look. There's the cavalry. There's the shadows. They're thinking about it. The target's there for them. They're not firing. Finro is not using them yet. Very, very odd. Okay, they're moving in now. There's the Battle of Trisman. Easy. So you can move a bit more to the left. You have to think that's a better target. He's not firing. Oh no, they're not firing. Normal kills also engaged air boys. You saw in the background there. He hasn't lost a single normal kill just yet. Just trying to see where the rounds are falling to the shy shadows. It is 26 down to 39. Back of tries and firing in. Okay, King Armor surging forward. The Trollman of Harad over here. I didn't see the Trollman of Harad before. Rokar Berserkers, also, I didn't think I saw them. 34 to 52. Again, Virgin Chickens moved up, approached a ready position of the blue team, and again they tore their way through it. The Kamul Shadow Guy moving up. for war goats coming in. That's probably satisfying. Okay, more kill collapse there. Might be anchoring Roma's cavalry. That's not good. More kill still have ammunition, they're firing away. Maroon's starting to do all right here on the right flank. He might be able to turn this around. Finrod's in a bit of trouble. The Dragon's Wrath crossbows are busy battling away with the enemy cavalry. we got a lot of camels here. They're trying to bring down the Battle of Trisman. Warg Riders coming in, trying to run them down. Axe Airball, a unit of 83 broke. What happened? These Mumma Kills doing a great job today. Dragons have crossbows, unit of 28 broke. Common over right moving up. 54 to 82. There goes the general. That was interesting. 
He actually got everybody broke before the general died. And it was just his unit with most of their numbers still alive. Mimikil certainly must have done a number on them. But definitely an improvement on the blue team's behalf in the previous match. It also doesn't help that most of the units are breaking on them. And that's not the player's fault. It's just aggravating. Alright, 57 to 87. Every unit now is being routed, run down, cut apart. And so I think we'll fast forward it to the end here, guys. I think this is it. Okay, King Armour and Venrod have won. I think maybe they've progressed to round two now. King Armour, they're getting 1,283. Finrod, 1,548. Keller here, 797. And Roma Carroll got 1,598. Well done, Roma. Okay, Nazgul High here got 128. Berserkers, 130. Trolls of the White Hand, 119. Urukai Pikes here, two units got over 100, just. And the other units did poor too good. I think that's fair. Uh, well, I think Finrod really carried the team there with his Mumma Guild. They certainly broke up a lot of the enemy lines. Um, not taking away anything from King Armour, of course, but I think the Mumma Guild there played a pivotal role in that battle. King Armour also used his cavalry very well. And just a bit unlucky there for Keller and Roma. If you'd like to see your Total War replays, guys, on this channel, you can send them to my email at scoutsofentertainment at gmail.com. You can send them to me directly on the Discord. Or you can join my Discord server at Scouts Reconnaissance. Where you can post all your Total War replays to the Battle Replay sub channel you will find there. Links to all those methods are in the video's description below. They are highlighted so you will not miss it. I also have various funding options available as well. If you'd like to support my work, it does really help out. And if you enjoyed this tournament battles guys, make sure you give it a like to support it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And tick that bell for notifications so you stay up to date with all the latest battles as they drop. And leave your own thoughts about this one in the comment section below. This is Mika on behalf of Scouts of Entertainment signing off. Dismissed, my fellow Scouts. Catch you in the next Total War Battle.